Alan Jensen, let me assure you of one thing before I say or do anything else. I have never had to suffer the agony you are suffering myself, but I have treated many patients over the years with that, and I promise you, one way or another, your agony will end tonight. When did you take this LSD? Yesterday, I just said, where did you get it? I don't know, I can't. I don't know. Where did you get it? Where did you get it? Chemistry major, student at Harvard. Chemistry major. Synthesized it from the original Swiss formula. Sandals, the bottom. Yeah, Sandals, the sugar cubes. Blue, she said, and the sugar cubes. How much did you take? 15,000 micrograms. Are you sure? 15,000 micrograms. Are you sure? Yes. Can you make these voices go away? I can, yes. You must sign this. What does it say? If I should die. What are the chances that I'm going to die? As a result of the medication. Fifty-fifty. Administered to me by Dr. Kurt Rees, and I absolve Dr. Rees of all responsibility in my death. Why would I sign? If you want to feel the way you feel now for the rest of your life, then feel this way for one more second. Then I suggest you sign the paper. What if I do die? Do you think the voices? Do you think they'll stop? Of course. What are you giving me? Antidotes. No need to. You are never going to take another drug of any kind again. Any kind. Any kind. And when did you take the seven No more voices. Just yours. And mine. The real ones. Thank you for saving me. You saved yourself. Anyone who can survive 15,000 micrograms of LSD has the constitution of an ox. And you're going to need it. Because your other problems, the ones out there, haven't gone away. Why are you looking out the window? What? How come you keep looking out the window? I feel like looking out the window. What are you looking at? Looking at scenery. It's birds and flowers. Which one are you so interested in scenery? You may stay here until things become a bit more calm. You understand that for you, LSD is like cyanide from this day on. Your drug-taking career has to come to an absolute conclusion. It's my breath, right? What? My breath stinks, right? Now your breath don't stink. <sighs> How's that? A little bit better? We tend to take consciousness for granted it evolves so subtly and so slowly from the day we are born until the time we form thoughts and express those thoughts in language that we forget what a fragile edifice it is we have built this thing called i the self and we forget how once shattered how hard it is to reconstruct treat it with respect